to understand better let us quickly work out a short exercise xyz occasionally sells goods on sale or return basis it records such deliveries as sale in its day book on 20th march it sent goods costing rupees 1 lakh at a profit of rupees of 50% costing 1 lakh at a profit of 50% on cost to one of its customers a limited these goods needed to be approved or returned by 20th april on 25th april 60% of these goods were approved while 10% were returned and for the balance no intimation received past journal entries for these transactions assuming xyz closes its books of account on 31st march so we have a goods being sent on approval on 20th march we have goods being returned on 25th march we have goods being approved on the same day and we have goods which are lying with the customer as at 31st march let us pass the entries chronologically one by one <clears throat> first entry on 20th march when goods are sent on approval we will record it as a ordinary sale transaction therefore the debtor is a limited a limited debit to sales what would be the value let me put some working notes here when cost is 1 lakh profit is 50% 50% of 1 lakh 50000 therefore the total sales value sale value would be 1 lakh 50000 a limited to sales 1 lakh 50000 next on 25th march 60% of these goods are approved when goods are approved we do not pass any entry since the sales transaction has been passed so no entry for the goods which are approved no entry here 10% of the goods are returned what is the entry for return which would be sale return account debit to the debtor a limited what is the value of these goods 10% is being returned 10% of the sale value of 1 lakh 50000 we are talking of 15000 so goods sent on approval we have passed an entry goods returned we have passed an entry goods approved we need not pass an entry as on the date of closing we still have 30% of the goods which are lying with the customer which have not been returned have not been approved these goods belong to us this is not to be considered as sale so let us first cancel the sale transaction that would be sales account debit to a limited and what would be the value it would be 30% of 1 lakh 50000 that would be 45000 we would also have to bring this stock into our books and the entry for that would be stock with customer on sale or return to trading account what would be the value value would be the cost or realizable value whichever is lower since we have sold at a profit we would consider this value at cost what would be the value it would be 30% of the original cost of 1 lakh this would be the scheme of entries as at 31st march it may be noted that in the next year 
If the customer approves of these goods, we need to pass a new entry for sales. However, if the customer returns the goods in the next year, we need not pass any entry. I'll repeat that once more. In the next year, in the coming year, if the customer approves of these goods, we need to pass a sale transaction because we have cancelled the sale transaction with respect to the goods which are lying with the customer, not approved, not returned. However, if the customer returns these goods, we need not pass any entry. We need not pass any entry.